Pardon my grease, it was rainy today, and I went bowling. Got a custom bowling ball so I could finally transcend the deity of the lane that I was meant to be. But doesn't matter. We're not here to talk about my bowling prowess and my pursuit of the perfect game. We're here to talk about a disastrous wedding. Throughout the years, I've covered many awful weddings, and there's just something very sad about a special day super stinker that I can't help but just be fascinated by and, and talk about. This isn't the main video I want to talk about here, but I want to lead with this because I don't know if it's a hot take, but I can't fucking stand the wedding cake smashing trend that some people subscribe to. Wedding cakes are so expensive, and you just throw it in the face of the bride or the groom, and it immediately changes the whole tone of the wedding into something aggressive, and sometimes just ends as like a WWE match or an argument or a fight. Like, I don't get why people do this. I've been to many, many weddings, and I've never seen anyone do that. I only see it in TikTok and YouTube videos from weddings. So this one, I think, really encapsulates it the best as to everything wrong with it. I can't find the original clip. I can only find it through Ray Like Sunshine channel. But there's a lot to unpack in just that short clip. So first of all, the wedding cake looks heavy as shit. When he throws it on the bride, she like visibly like falls with it. That's like a 20 pound cake. It's like getting hit with a dumbbell. And then even once she like recovers from the initial stun and staggering from it, he goes back into the DPS phase and hits her again with the wedding cake. And you can see how upset she is. Also, the groom's out here looking like a frat douchebag on spring break. And he's got a gun on his hip with him. I don't know why he'd bring his gun to the wedding. Maybe he expected to get pulled up on by his ops, so he needed to stay strapped and ready with that big iron on his hip. But he looks like James Bond on vacation. What's supposed to be one of the biggest days in a person's life is now just been reduced to this guy acting like it's a tailgate party. Unbuttoned shirt, beer belly hanging out. Chaos. But anyway, let's get into the, the video, the main video I wanted to talk about. And just share with you the most beautiful moments of my life. I'd hate to have to follow that. Anywho, Cody? I'll promise to smack that ass every chance I get. <laughs> oh. That's wow. all I got. <laughs> he's giggling like he's trying to do an impression of the Joker following that statement. So, I, I cut out the beginning, obviously, but it was a really heartfelt message from the bride. Her vows were really sweet, and the production was really good, too. It made it seem like it was a, the conclusion to a long-running romance slice-of-life anime or something. Like it, was, it was wholesome stuff. And then immediately, Cody follows it up by just saying, I promise to smack that ass every chance I get. There's no shortage of people treating their wedding day like it's a stand-up comedy special on Netflix, and it usually leads to a bunch of cringe, but this is cringe with a little poop on top. This is just disrespectful to your wife and also the families of not only her, but everyone in attendance, your side, their side. It's just uncomfortable. What the fuck is the point of that? Like, it's not as bad as the other wedding vows I covered last year where the guy said, as long as you keep my balls empty and I can, you know, fuck you hard enough to make the bed shake every night and turn you into a toaster strudel, like come on her tummy, like he's happy. That was definitely worse. But for some reason, when I'm watching Cody's wedding video here, it makes me feel even yuckier. This is just the beginning. So, of course, he starts to follow up that heartfelt sentiment from his wife. He's like, you know what? I only care about those cheeks and making them jiggle. Can't wait to clap them. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> this is either going to be the most beautiful couple ever, or we're all going out in the same bolt of lightning. Either way, Cody, please proceed. She's the brains of the operation, so. Okay. Well, <laughs> Where's the other one? Apparently you don't put that on here. Mm. Cody, it's on the wrong hand. Yeah, so that's the yeah. right. <laughs> Yeah, so let's try that again. Back here. And may maybe say something. You can see deep shame wash over the face of the guy who's supposed to announce them man and wife. He knows that this is some dysfunctional shit right here. He can't help but let Cody know that he's a fool. A fucking oaf. So he's trying to, like, mentor him on how this should go. Like, hey, brother, maybe say a little bit more than smacking her ass. Also, maybe you should put the ring on the proper hand. Dude doesn't know right from left clearly, so he has to like go mirror it to figure it out. I love you. <laughs> I promise to frustrate you all the time. I promise to frustrate you all the time. Good. <laughs> <laughs> promise I'm not gonna listen to you. I mean, I will listen. I got that backwards, didn't I? <laughs> Did it? 
Yeah. Are you sure? I didn't write nothing down. That's what you're going out with? That's what I'm going right, with. Cool. And they say chivalry is dead. How laughable. They've clearly never met Cody. A very profound moment here that we get to share in. And I can't help but feel happy for these two. Cody seems like a, a real peach. I do love how visibly annoyed everyone around Cody is with his antics here. <laughs> like, he's getting all the chances imaginable to try and salvage this. Like, say something nice. He's like, is this, is this how you're going to send it off? Is this really what you're going to say to your wife here? And he's like, yep, that's it. It's like, whatever. And then I'm pretty sure the, there was someone else that just said, come on. I feel like I heard someone faintly go, come on. Which I get, because this is an eye-rolling moment here. Touching. Exchange. <laughs> I guess there's only one thing left to do, and that's for me to do my part. So, by the power vested in me by the state of Kentucky, the United Life Church, and the Church of Bacon, I- Church of Bacon? More like Church of making that ass clap. Am I right, Cody? <laughs> now pronounce you man and wife. You may seal it with a kiss. Ooh, lovely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cody, can you please stop moaning? This isn't a porno, it's a wedding ceremony. Jesus Christ. I still think the worst wedding ever held is the one I covered like five years ago. The crazy bitch wedding where the bride walked out to the Buck Cherry song, Crazy Bitch. But not the official recording, a karaoke version sung by one of her friends who I'm pretty sure was gargling glass in her throat before performing. And it is not even a walkout, it's not even like a wedding march. She goes out there and puts on like a wedding striptease in front of everyone, kind of. It's like she was trying to give the entire ceremony a lap dance and turned it into the trashiest thing imaginable in front of a bunch of kids and like, completely, like, normal family members who were just <laughs> appalled at what they are witnessing. And then when she makes it to the stand, it turns out she's marrying, like, Diet Kid Rock and the Dirty Boys Biker Gang. That, I still think, is the worst ceremony this world has ever seen. But that doesn't make this one any less awful. And it gets even weirder after this moment. Things I'm Cody's ex from high school. <laughs> Yes, you may think that's weird, but it's probably more helpful than weird. All right. Because I can totally relate to whatever crazy stuff he puts Kate through. Why would you do that, though? Why would you bring your ex here to speak about you being a quirky, zany oddball? What? Why? Why bring your ex in in this wedding? That feels foul. Like, hey, I know we're getting married, but. I'm bringing my ex-girlfriend from high school here. She's gonna give a banger speech, trust me. No, no, it's not, what, why do you think that's weird? There's nothing wrong with being friends with your exes, but why do this for your wedding day? You're, you're marrying this girl that you love, and for some reason you're calling in a previous girl you loved to speak about you. Why? I, I don't know, I just, that doesn't feel right. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about this a little bit, because I'm always interested in these wedding disasters. So that's really about it. See ya.